Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing you a brand new airplane announced by Edu Moda. They call it Sky just because this airplane was designed especially for FPV. It's got few nice features that will make it really, really unique. You will uh, see the features while I'll be showing you the parts. So actually, let's check the parts that were in the box. And we will begin with the fuselage. As you can see, the fuselage is quite big and is made out of EPO foam. The molding quality is just fantastic. Every detail that you need is already pre-molded. On top of the fuselage we have two hatches. On the first one we have a pedestal where we can install a gimbal or a camera on a servo or just a fixed uh, camera or if we don't want to use it then they supply this nice canopy that uh, need to be uh, cut out and glued in place. It will give a nice aerodynamic shape to the airplane. The second hatch is only for accessing um, the insides of the upper bay. Actually the fuselage has two bays internally. The upper one usually is used for electronics and the lower one is used for um, carrying the batteries so uh, they have a separation inside but uh, it is looking like a, a full fuselage. If you take the, the hatches out then you get nice access inside the um, upper bay where your electronics are supposed to be mounted. In the front here we have a nice and big hole. If you decide to mount your camera uh, inside the fuselage then they supply uh, also this dome uh, which you install it here. Uh, the video uh, actually will get um, glares from behind the dome but um, that will protect your camera and what I particularly like about this plane that the dome is located much higher and um, it will not get scratched on the landing like on the other planes uh, in the market. Also in the front here but in the lower bay we have another hole that um, is used for installing um, an FPV camera for example or if you want you can cut all this part out and install a gimbal with the camera looking down, for example, for surveillance or something like that. Also, we get uh, a few nice uh, um, holes for uh, air uh, to let the airflow cool the um, electronics inside the fuselage. Okay, on the rear of the fuselage, we have um, uh, a place to install a motor and this is the second nice feature about this plane you can configure it as a single motor in pusher version or you can configure it uh, as a twin motor so if you want a, a single motor then the motor will be installed here and I think it can accommodate a 12 inch propeller if I'm not mistaken 11 or 12, uh, 12 inch uh, also uh, you have two holes for um, airflow to uh, get out and um, even you can run some cables here for ESC for example and so on and uh, here you mount the carbon tail boom. Okay, on the lower um, uh, bay we have doors on both sides which you have to cut out and uh, you have a very very nice access inside the, the fuselage. The hinges uh, left here on the door are quite soft and they crack so you have to um, to reinforce them but um, if you don't want to cut uh, both doors but let's say only one you don't have to worry about it it's already uh, reinforced okay and let's get the fuselage part so I will show you some other nice features uh, here you can see the inside of the fuselage, the lower bay, as I said, you get um, um, plywood that you install, this is for the upper one, okay, you get a piece of plywood to install where you mount your um, uh, batteries, uh, it can accommodate up to 8 batteries of uh, uh, ZP batteries 3 amps uh, 3S. 
it, it's a, a lot of space here inside. Okay, and another piece of plywood which you install on the um, upper bay here and even more if you want to divide the upper bay into two layers they supply this this piece of plywood uh, which you install here and you have two different layers in upper bay so you can separate your electronics or install them in a more clean way okay i think at this moment that's all about the fuselage so let's check the next parts and the next part is what really makes this plane unique the wing look at this profile look at this nice curvature it's called camber so this wing got a camber it acts like you have the flaps down and it just increases the lift of the wing that means that uh, the pl uh, your plane will carry a lot of more weight uh, and having a lower stalling point um, and um, the disadvantage of this is that the cruise speed uh, will be um, a little bit uh, lower but it's also an, an advantage because this is an fpv plane and we want to travel slower um, if we will use it for uh, filming or for mapping or something like that i think this profile is quite unique and uh, it's what uh, catched my uh, my eye when i firstly saw this plane the wing uh, has a 1.89 meters wingspan or it is about 74 inch but i believe they will have a bigger one because on the box there is a checkbox marked as 2.39 meters okay what other nice details about the wing is these two lines uh, i hope you can see them actually they are the lines which is marking where you have to install the nasals in case you want to configure this plane as twin motor here you install the nasals you don't have to get the roller and to um, um, measure on both wings to be in the same uh, spot no you have the marks you just glue them in place with ca i don't like the idea to glue them in place because because you can't return to a single uh, version uh, to a single motor version but um, this is it uh, they designed it like that okay uh, we got flaps we got ailerons per cut uh, the flaps are even reinforced here so you don't have to worry uh, they came in loose if you don't want to use them uh, i will not use them for the maiden because as i said this plane is already uh, um, meant to travel um, slower than uh, flat than our planes with flat wings okay on the other side we have Carbon spars here, which I've already glued in place. We have uh, already a lot of details molded, the um, places to install the servo, places to install uh, the horns. Uh, and what I like about the, uh, the wing is they got this nice CG mark with big letters. You don't have to measure or to deal where your CG is. They already uh, molded it. That means also that they tested the plane a lot before um, before um, uh, uh, releasing uh, the plane uh, for the production. Because you know it's not uh, quite uh, nice to have uh, uh, a mark for a CG in a, a wrong place. Uh, the wing is uh, held in place with two carbon spars which are a little bit shorter than needed but uh, for the longest one for the biggest one here uh, i think the box was the limit uh, this small one uh, this carbon rod uh, here is used for locking the wing on the fuselage i don't like the locking mechanism because uh, it implies a screwdriver uh, but when i'm in the uh, field i want to fly the plane not to assemble it uh, anyway, it's not something new, it's something that uh, our planes also got and it, it works. 
Okay, that's about the wings. So let's check the next parts. And the next part will be the tail boom and the uh, tail assembly itself. The tail boom is a carbon uh, uh, fiber uh, uh, rod and uh, it looks quite shorter but I think it will be enough. It's held in place uh, to the fuselage with this uh, piece of uh, aluminum, I will call it tail boom holder. Uh, I think they crazy just making this plane perfect because this they they made it in aluminium. Uh, the downside is that this uh, piece weight 52 grams, guys. Uh, this is quite a lot because um, it will be installed after the CG and will make the CG a little bit off. I know we have a lot of electronics in the front, but um, it's better just to compensate with something in, uh, in the tail here than uh, with, uh, with uh, a lot of weight here close to the fuselage. Uh, because of that I've already, let's say, copied it and 3D printed it. Uh, this piece uh, of tail boom holder is weighing only 12 grams, so we can save as much as 40 grams. Um, actually, this one I was uh, a little bit uh, uh, off with measurements, but uh, as we speak, uh, I'm printing now the second uh, one, which will already be uh, okay, and I will uh, use a plastic version. On the tape boom, we have a piece of foam uh, on which we can install uh, a transmitter or a receiver as we want. The tail boom have to be glued in, uh, on the tail assembly. I'm not quite liking this because um, I actually uh, don't like uh, gluing the parts. I'm uh, more like assembling them with screws because you can take them apart in case of something. But um, that works on other planes, so um, that's that's okay. The tail assembly, as you can see, it is already assembled. I had hard times to figure out how to assemble it because they didn't supply any manual, but this tail is not just regular. This tail features a uh, feature they call vertical landing. Uh, that means that the horizontal stabilizer, as you can see, it has quite a big surface and it can be moved by a servo which is installed here and it moves upwards like this that allow you to have a uh, fast landing but still controllable uh, unfortunately I saw already and it was proved by um, uh, planes of, of other companies like Zeta models uh, that uh, uh, the vertical landing is actually a fast uh, um, crash uh, rather than a landing so I will not deal with it and if you don't want to do it also two bolts here and the uh, horizontal stabilizer is uh, fixed in place and doesn't move anymore so that's nice about it uh, as a reinforcement uh, it has a carbon spar here which also is acting uh, uh, like a hinge for the uh, stabilizer. The, um, the holes for servo are for 9 gram servo and um, other than that they have here uh, this um, stopper for the uh, uh, stabilizer uh, not to go uh, more than, than needed. Okay, that's all about the tail assemble, assembly. Sorry. Some other parts in the box uh, some plywood uh, uh, pieces for the wing, reinforcement uh, from, for the wing uh, on the uh, inside of the fuselage. Uh, here you saw the plywood uh, for the base, for the fuselage. Uh, this is for the tail boom holder, uh, you also get a piece of plywood for the dome to screw it in place. Uh, 
and uh, for the motors of course uh, also we have here that's uh, oh no no that's not all you also get uh, the hardware needed uh, you get uh, latches uh, for the hatches or for the doors you get horns nice uh, aluminium uh, horns with m3 uh, bolts you get uh, uh, push roads, also nice push roads. Uh, you get everything you need. And the last item in the box is uh, this uh, sheet uh, with the stickers, uh, which will make uh, your plane looking uh, much beautiful. Uh, okay, that's all about the parts in the box. And uh, now I will go assemble the plane and. Uh, See you on the Maiden!